Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome to Battle Hard, another rather simple and I guess people would call it a cute iOS game apparently. Yeah, it's a rather simple game. Um, the characters have a very cute small design. It's kind of hard to explain, but here we go. So choose a save file. Obviously I'm going to be choosing number two and I will be calling myself Shiny. My first file is actually the OJ file. That's my practice run, you know, because this game is hard. So this is how the characters look and it's, it's pretty funny actually. So, this is Lucille, of course. As you surely know, our land is besieged by a plague of terrible monsters. Okay. Yeah, um, there's actually a sequel of this game called Battleheart Legacy, which I haven't played, but people say it's much, much better than this one. But, obviously, if I'm going to be playing a sequel, I want to play the prequel first, which is this one. This game is not too heavy in story. It's more so the gameplay that's fun, although it can get repetitive. I'm not reading all this because it's, it's like tutorial stuff. So, we're going to go to the training grounds and, you know, just... Well, prepare. So this is the gameplay right here. First, we're gonna get introduced to all the tutorial stuff, so here we go. The king has granted me one of his best knights, Sir Shepard, to help illustrate the art of combat. Greetings! First, let's go over movement. Okay. Try directing Shepard to move, yeah. How do you move? Simply drag a character to another place. This place is not com- I mean, this place, really. This game is not compatible with MFI controllers because, well, you have to drag. That's the controls. And honestly, the controls are very, very well made. For iOS games like this, it's well made, the whole dragon thing, you'll get used to it eventually, and once you get used to it, it becomes really simple. I mean, not the game, but the controls become simple. The game is still hard, there are some hard moments on this game. So, this is how you attack, simply drag your character over to another thing, this time it's a dummy, and they will attack automatically. So right now the gameplay looks pretty simple, right? Well, it's not going to be this simple the entire time, you will see. So. Simply tap on a character now, and this will display... Oh, hold on. Dude, um, oh, there we go. This will display their health. So, he's hurt. So right now the tutorial is about Lucille. Lucille, um, she cannot attack. She is instead like a white mage. She heals. Think of it like mages in the world of magic. You know, they're the support units. I mean, the mages can still attack in world of magic, but in here, they just can't. But they do heal up your knight, and you know, think of that knight as a warrior, you know? Like the world of magic. So yeah, that actually called a cleric, okay? Not a white mage, as I just called it, or a mage in general. So here's the first real enemy. Oh man, I mean, it's still tutorial, but it's a real enemy. So this bat is attacking that mage, you know, she got hit once, and like, oh my god, help me! Damsel in distress. So, um, yeah, get the knight to attack. Knights in this game, they have like an auto-provoke. Anytime your knight attacks enemies, not all enemies, but for most enemies, um, they will be provoked, which means that the enemy will automatically target the knight instead, which is very good. It's very useful. Knights are tanks. They have a ton of armor, and you will see just how helpful they are. Now it's time for skills. Skills, simply tap on a character, and on the top left corner, skills appear. The cleric's first skill is a, basically a good heal. It heals every single one of your party members uh, on the screen for a decent amount of HP. Overall, it's a very nice skill, very useful, but it does have a, what is it, 30 second cooldown time or something? So this is the menu. We did the tutorial, good thing that, good thing is that the tutorial is actually not very long. So it tells us to go to the tavern, but I'm going to go to all of them. The armory. The armory is the place where you can basically equip stuff to your characters. Yeah, you see all this stuff. Again, you can read it, but I'm not reading this because it's all like tutorial-like stuff, you know? If it was story-related text, then I would read it, but it's really not. So, you can see your stats, attack and defense, you can see the equipment, all characters have a weapon, armor, and two accessories, but I'll talk more about that later. Merchant. The merchant screen is where you can buy and sell stuff, but think of it as a shop. You just call it merchant here to be a bit more fancy, you know? But, yeah, um, merchant's items are on the left side, and as I just said, they actually change after every single mission that you do. Right now, there's really nothing useful. You can always see, you know, what's an improvement and what's not. But again, I'll be talking about this as we go. I'm just briefly talking about all these things. If I'm going too fast or it's confusing, do not worry. I will be talking more about them later. This is the academy, where you get to equip more skills. But you can only equip skills in this game once you reach every five levels. So she has a group heal. And Knight has the shield ability, which um, I didn't read it, but it basically reduces damage by, by 50% for 15 seconds. And this is a tavern where you can basically recruit people. So, 
Right now there are only two potential recruits, Gustav and Bromswell, so I'm going to be getting Gustav, which is a rogue. Bromswell is a wizard, but I prefer the rogue for now, although I'm not going to be keeping the rogue for a long time because overall he's not too useful. And this is the keep. Basically, your reserve slots. You can only have four members fighting on screen at once, but if you ever get more characters, you simply place them on here, just like what I'm doing. And, well, yeah, there we go. Because we have four or less, we have three people, we can obviously not... I mean, we're obviously not going to be using the keep for now. This is the actual world map, the Gobwood number one. The first world is called Haggardom, but I'm going to be doing this one, so here we go. First stage. You should not die in this stage. The main strategy. Now time to talk about the real gameplay. Main strategy. Make sure that your knight tries to attack as many monsters as possible to try and provoke them. Your knight is the one who's going to be tanking the most damage. You also have your rogue, who is, um, well, he's like the, I guess, the support attacker. And because your knight will be provoking pretty much every single enemy, make sure that Lucille is always healing the knight. As you can see, he is not getting hit a lot. I mean, he's getting hit, but then he's getting healed again. So some bats now. Again, go for the knight. I mean, the knight needs to attack, of course. Here comes a goblin. Luckily for us, that goblin is auto-attacking. I, I think he was. So right now, the gameplay is pretty simple, as you can see. You might be thinking, this game is not hard. Oh, it gets hard. It gets really hard. Do not worry. But you'll see. You will see. So I do have skills, and I actually used up the, the rogue skill the first time, and, um... Cooldown, or cool time is like 30 seconds, so yeah. That goblin was chasing the Lucille, or the cleric, whatever. So, when they do that, it's... Why am I using the rogue? Seriously, what the hell? So, when they do that, move your cleric out of the way. Like, leave. Make sure your knight attacks. So, we should be pretty close to finishing this. Overall, the stage is not too difficult, because again, it's number one. So, again, um, this game is its pretty simplistic, you know, in terms of story. It's uh, its just for fun. It's a rather short game. It's not going to take too long, but it can get difficult. So, I'm going to try to be doing this, you know, daily, just like Bastion. But if I can't, then um, I'll just be, you know, using doing another Let's Play in place of the, the days that this game should go up. And I guess I'll just be, like, alternating or something. But we'll see. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do this daily, but at the same time, something tells me that I probably won't be able to. Bastion, I know for sure I will be able to. I know that for a fact. Okay, here's the last bat, and I believe this is very close to the end. So, um, yeah, one bad thing about this game is that it eventually feels very repetitive. I mean, right now it's only stage one, but eventually it does feel repetitive because, you know, we're just fighting the same freaking enemies. It does get harder, but it does feel repetitive. That's the problem. Anyways, stage one complete. Everybody got 50 XP, and we leveled up. Remember that we have to reach level five with our characters to actually access a new skill. But back on the menu. Stage one is complete. Let's go to the tavern, and once you beat the first stage, you get access to a lot of potential recruits. I'm gonna be getting Oakley. Oakley the Ranger. Rangers are very amazing, just like in the world of magic. You know how I love Rangers more than warriors and mages but yeah rangers in here are freaking cool too they really are you will see their you'll see their perks you know their benefits so i got this thing from beating the stage but uh it's not whatever next stage west wild fields let's begin so here we go yeah i'm gonna keep these videos a little bit under 20 minutes just like how i do pretty much you know all let's plays nowadays 15 to 20 minutes every single video in general so, the ranger, the benefits, he can attack across the entire stage. That is so cool. The bad news? His armor levels are not anywhere near as high as, um, um, what do you call the, the knight. Oh wait, what the hell? Shoot. Oh, damn it. I was not healing the knight. God damn it. Yeah. So, as you can see, it's always a good idea to just keep your ranger as far as possible. Just because, you know, he, he does not need to be anywhere close. He can attack across the entire screen. That is the most useful thing about the Ranger. Also, his skills are fairly high damaging, and in general, the Ranger is a high damaging class. Warriors, or Knights, whatever, are not as high damaging, but they do have massive defense and they have the ability to tank. Rogues are just... I mean, I don't know. To me, I still haven't figured out what the hell the Rogues do. I mean, obviously they attack like the Knight, short range, but... It feels like they should have another nice ability, but I can't really figure out what they what they excel at that's why I'm, I'm gonna be getting rid of the rogue very soon I don't like him 
I only have him now because, you know, I needed a new... a new class, a new character to help me. But yeah, as you can see, we're just fighting goblins here and a bunch of bats. Very simple enemies, I must say. Very simple. Overall, it's not too difficult if you keep using your knight to attack as many enemies as possible. Okay, my rogue is getting hit a lot. I need to bring my knight over. There we go. And get the cleric to heal up. Yep. You know, I should be calling these by their names. So, that one's Lucille. The ranger's Oakley. The, uh, the rogue is Gustav. And the knight is Shepard, I think. Sir Shepard. Yeah. There we go. Good arrow. Yeah, that move is really cool, actually. And so is that one, I guess. I mean, whatever. The knights right now is more like a tank, you know? So this stage actually felt like it went by quicker than the first one, although I'm not sure that's true or not. So, getting gold in this game is fairly difficult, just because you get so little after every mission. So conserve your gold well, you know? You need to know what to spend it on. Don't just spend like an idiot, seriously. Be very mindful about what you're spending. Let's go to Merchant and see. Iron Sword, that's the same sword he currently has equipped, I think. Let me see. Um, yeah, it is. So there's no point in keeping that. I can just sell it. I'm also going to sell this because I'm not going to be using a class that contains that. So let's see here. Elven Cloak, that's, um, that's an improvement for the Cleric, or Lucille, sorry. Crystal Rod, Soft Leather Garb, um, hmm. I'm not really sure which one I should be getting. I'll just be going for the Elven Cloak. Yeah, or oh, actually, wait a minute. Because if I... Damn, that's... Yeah, j just get this. Elven Cloak, then go to go to um, Armory. Come over here. So it's going to be an improvement by 3. 3 defense from 15 to 18. Go back to Merchant and sell this garbage now. There we go. Now it is time to battle. And do Esten Farmstead, the third mission of the game. So, difficulty will be improved a decent amount, but we'll see. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll do this, you know, it's not difficult. Alright, so let's get Oakley and Gustav and Shepard to attack, while we get the White Mage away. No, no, no. Shepard, please attack. Do not let... Alright, there we go. Looking good right now. Um, damn it, she's being attacked again. No, 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 no. Okay, I should move Lucille away, but... Oh, it's fine. It's fine right now. These pathetic goblins, you know, they're just... just They're bad. They are bad, so... There we go. Get away. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Okay, good. I'm lucky. I thought that bat that spawned right next to Lucille was going to attack her, but no. It, it did not. Alright, so let's see. Looking pretty well right now. Let's just attack. Oh, wait. Alright, you're down. Who's next? Come on. Bring me the next wave. More goblins? Okay, of course. Okay. So, um, now I was gonna mention one more thing, and let's see if I remember this. Damn it. I didn't. Well, yeah, there are bosses in, the, bosses in this game, around the halfway point and ending point of every single world, and they're tough. The bosses are hard. But hopefully I'll be able to do this. Yeah, you know, I, I just, I don't want an LP curse to happen with this game, seriously. I just want to, you know, finish it up fast. Do it daily. Do as many levels as I can per video. You know, just make as much progress as, as possible. As quick as possible. And hopefully I'll be able to do it. I just don't want to be putting up massive fails, you know? Okay, wait, there's more? There's more? Okay, fine, whatever. Who's next? More goblins? Yeah, we will be meeting new enemies fairly soon, actually. Actually, right now. This guy. The Cyclops. Cyclops are new enemies because, well, I mean, they're the first time we've seen them, obviously. They're tough, though. They have a lot of HP, and they have a pretty decent amount of, uh, of um, attack power. So it's important to be using shield with the knight to, you know, resist the damage and also be getting heals with Lucille. But we seem to have this. I'll just get this heal, though. The group heal. And there we go. So as you can see, they have a lot of health. If you're only fighting them with one character at a time, they could be pretty difficult, luckily for me, and it was three on one, so it was fine. Alright. Nice experience. And there we go. Okay. 
back over here. There's gonna be one more mission, but before that, let's see here. That's a staff, which um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be um going for the tavern because I'm gonna be getting a wizard. I'll get you, Thistle. Okay, so there's a wizard. Wizards are well, you know, they're like mages, but they're offense mages, not the healing mages. Switching out for Gustav, and let's go and fight some more because I need more money. There's no point in using the you know the merchant right now. Who cares? Mission 4, this will probably be the last one of this video, just because we're already pretty far up there. Okay, so, the mage. The mage, um, is, or wizard or whatever, attacks with, um, a pretty good amount of power, actually. She's fairly strong. Only problem is, she does not have armor, she's just like Oakley. She's ranged, but just has no armor. Because of that, having a knight is extremely helpful, pretty much mandatory, if you're going to be having two rangers or not rangers, but like ranged characters and one healer, you really do need a knight or maybe a paladin too. I don't know. Either or. But yeah, these four classes, are. I'm going to be keeping them for a really, really long time, if not the entire time. I mean, hopefully I will be able to just use these four because these four are really cool. I really enjoy using this combination. I think it's very helpful. So... Yeah, hopefully I'm able to do this. So a bunch of, you know, goblins and bats once again, but don't worry, we will be fighting some new enemies fairly soon. I think in the next stage, maybe. Or... No, wait, next stage might be the boss. I don't know. Hmm. I don't remember that too well. Yep, a lot of goblins. Sorry, I'm not talking there a lot. I mean, it's just... See, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory by now. I'm pretty sure you get all, all this gameplay also just because it's self-explanatory does not mean that I should not be talking. In fact, I should be talking more just to make it more interesting. Really. So, anyways, um, yeah, we're up to... Okay, yeah, we're, we're pretty up there in time. So after this, I'm just going to be ending the part because we don't have enough time to do any more missions after this. We're going to be up to like 19 minutes or something. I think there's one more wave. Cyclops, oh god. Alright, there's a bat over there, um, which I probably should kill, or... Oh man, okay, okay, this could be tough. This could get tough. Okay, let's get our skills going. Alright, you go ahead and shield, because you're fighting the Cyclops, and you need to, you know, take as much damage as you can. Alright, there we go. Group heal, that's gonna help a lot. And another goblin, what the hell? Okay, fine. Attack the goblin. Yeah, my two rangers will... I'm gonna call them rangers as in, like, they are ranged characters. Even if I call the wizard a ranger, you know what I mean. Okay, my knight is about to die. That's not good. Let me just go ahead and go back a bit. Okay, he seems to be up there now. So, I'm just gonna attack him now. Attack the cyclops again. Go ahead and shield. To resist the damage. And there we go. Okay. All done. So, um... That's it. Again, this gameplay is fun if you're playing it yourself. I'm not so sure if it's going to be the funnest thing to watch if, you know, if you're watching the Let's Play of it. But I'm going to try to make it as interesting. This entire video was, um, all the easy stuff, you know? Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. Level 5 already. Shepard reached level 5. I'm going to be getting Cleave. Last shot with a series of whirling attacks. The other one basically forces enemies to run, which is not good. I'm going to get Cleave, which is an AOE skill, area of effect. Shield protects your target, reducing damage by 75%. Power infusion. Doubling power. I prefer the doubling power because it Yeah, I prefer this power infusion. Basically it makes you know better. Um for this one I prefer the fire arrow because it basically lights up the entire ground right next to them. And then you're only level four. So thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.